Hey guys, Greg with Greg Goes Electric. Uh, it's been a while since we posted some content to the channel, but we're back. Uh, we've been cooking up some things. Uh, we've been quite busy. Can't wait to catch you up on uh, what we've been up to, mainly our future fuel project. Uh, it's a very uh, meaningful, impactful program that we're, that we're implementing here in the country. To learn more about it, go to futurefuelproject.org in the URL, and uh, you'll figure out what it is uh, that we're up to. But for now, this is what we're up to. <laughs> so this, or what's left of this, is a 2017 BMW i3. Uh, it's an all-electric vehicle. And what we're gonna be doing is removing some of these components that, so that we can use it in an aftermarket build. The aftermarket build is gonna be a 1998 Porsche uh, 986 body uh, Boxster, which is the V1 or version one. So uh, what we're gonna be doing is making a five-speed, all-electric, fast, scoot around, get around car. We're gonna be using some of the components from what's left of this to go inside of the Porsche. And uh, today we're gonna be taking the battery box out of this. Uh, we're gonna drop it, break it down. You're gonna learn about the difference in the types of modules that, that's in here. You're gonna learn about the battery management system, the cooling system, uh, the uh, safety systems that are embedded in here. And uh, yeah, and then we'll go on to the next phase. So stand by, let's learn something. All right, so what you're looking at is the undercarriage or underbody of the, of the BMW. Primarily this section right here is the battery box, all this stuff that's silver. Uh, this is held in by 26 of those bolts right there that you see. I'm gonna remove all, but about, I'll remove half of them to start. Uh, then I'll put some jacks under here and some dollies so that I can lower it down onto the dollies and roll it from under the car. But for now, um, what we're gonna do is we have to first disconnect this high voltage cabling. There's a low voltage cabling on the other side that controls the, uh, the safety box and the BMS. And then there's some coolant lines that I have to remove as well that run into here. So uh, that's the next thing. And then after I remove the coolant lines, the high voltage cabling, all the low voltage, then I will begin to remove these bolts and lower the battery box down so that I can roll it from under the car. both uh, nerve-wracking and fun. So uh, this is the high voltage uh, battery box that I removed from the i3 here. Now, while I don't recommend anyone do this by themselves, I recommend you use at least two people, proper equipment, at least four jacks, to stabilize it at, at, at both ends. You can use two people at both ends. Through my experience, I've removed plenty of battery boxes from EVs, so I kind of knew what this was gonna do, plus I've done my research, but anyway. Uh, we got it out. Now, what we had to do to take this out was I had to remove the uh, three-stage high-voltage uh, cabling or connector. Uh, I had to remove the 12-volt connector for the BMS and for the junction box or the safety box, as they call it. I had to remove the 12-volt activator for the expansion valve for the uh, coolant that runs through here. And then I had to take out 26 bolts. I took out all the bolts along the sides, two from the center. I used a jack to hold it up to stabilize it, remove my last four bolts around the edge. And then I just ran back and forth, as you saw, uh, lowering this thing down, such sort of, you know, teeter tottering it. So it comes down, you know, even as it can. But anyway, so we got it out. Now I'm gonna take the cover off of this, I'll disconnect the number four and five module 
that four and five module, which are towards the end here, that's what breaks the pack in half and disconnects the voltage from the whole thing. That kills the whole pack. Then after that, I'll remove all of the BMS wiring, take each module out, test them, store them, and these are gonna be ready to put into the Porsche. So that's the next phase is to rip this thing apart and see what this bad boy's made of. Chevy, how you doing, buddy? So, so now that we've got the uh, cover off and we've got this battery box exposed, I'll show you exactly what we're working with here. This is what's inside of a of a battery box. All right, what you're looking at is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight modules that are running in series. Now, each module has 45 volts of storage of uh, storage in it, energy storage and you run 45 times eight, you come up with 360. Now this is nominal voltage, meaning the average voltage that you store in here. Uh, I think you can go as high as 400. This vehicle can operate uh, anywhere from, I believe, 286 to 400 volts. Now, inside of each module are, are 12, uh, 12 cells. Now each cell has 3.75 volts in each cell. They're running in series and there's 12 of them. So 3.75 times 12 is 45. Uh, now, these little wires you're seeing coming out of here, these are what you call cell taps. They are tapped into the top of each positive of the cell. There should be one black wire in here that's coming off the negative of the most uh, negative uh, battery or the furthest battery away from the positive. So what happens is that negative is going to come into this BMS or battery management system. And every time it touches a positive, it adds and populates to the total voltage of each of these modules that are running, or I'm sorry, cells that are running in series. And this here reads that to make sure that these things are balanced, to make sure these things are balanced. Now, uh, along with uh, that is also reading information from the, these things called thermistors. Thermistors are basic, basically like temperature probes that go down in between every few cells. And what that does is it reads the temperature of the cells to make sure that they're not running too hot or too cold. We'll get to that in a sec. Now, once all that information goes into these BMSs or these satellite BMSs, that's the information that feeds in. It's the information that comes out. That information that comes out will talk to another BMS. And that'll talk to another and another and another and another all the way back till all their information is collected and processed in the master control unit. Now this master control unit or MCU will then take all the collected info and once it gets all of this information from the satellite BMSs in regards to how the condition of the batteries or the state of charge or what have you, it's then gonna make a decision whether to allow this to start or not start. This junction box here holds what you call high voltage contactors, precharge resistors and other safety mechanisms, okay? Um, this will tell this to close your high voltage contactors, which then closes the circuit, completes it, and then on the other side there, you will have a positive and a negative DC output voltage. That is in a sense how the electronics work. Now, remember earlier when I was talking about the thermistors. Okay, this is how they work. So a thermistor is nothing more than a temperature probe that'll go down in between every so many module or every so many uh, cells inside of a module. And they're basically just like little thermometers that read the temperature coming off. And then they process that, that reading, or that gonna relay that reading, it's gonna get processed in the satellite BMS. And then of course, all the rest of the BMS do the same thing. So what happens is this, uh, say this is running and it's getting too warm, right? Those thermistors are gonna tell the satellite BMS systems and the satellite BMS is gonna tell the MCU, mass control unit. Mass control unit's gonna talk to a module in the car and tell it, hey, turn your AC compressor on, we need coolant to come through here and create a chiller effect. And these are thermal management systems or chiller plates. And those chiller plates that run underneath the battery are there to cool the battery down when it gets too warm. Now, 
the same thing happens if the battery is too cold. So if the battery is too cold, then those same thermistors are going to co collect info and then it's going to populate and this is going to say, hey, we need to turn on the heater. So there's a heater core, an electric heater core, which is right there. We'll get to that later. But that heater core will then create warm coolant or warm, yeah, warm coolant, right? Uh, warm fluid, which will run through here and it's, it'll actually heat these batteries up. It'll bring them up to operating temperature because batteries don't like to be charged below freezing temperature. And so what you'll do is you'll run the heated, uh, heated fluid through those chiller plates or thermal management plates to actually bring the battery up to oper uh, uh, optimal operating temperature that you can charge it. So what we're gonna be doing next is removing these plates that hold the batteries down. Uh, we're gonna remove all of the connectors from all of the uh, battery management systems, the satellite systems. We're gonna isolate these batteries by removing all of the high voltage connectors, right? Your positives and your negatives. And then we're gonna pull these out, test them, store them, and these are gonna go in the Porsche. Uh, these weigh 55 pounds a piece. So you're looking at 55, 110, 220, 230, 440. So we're probably looking at about 440 pounds of added weight to the Porsche. But remember, we've removed the motor, the gas tank, a lot of other things that are gas related. So uh, this is what's gonna go in there and uh, hopefully we can make this thing work. <laughs>
So I will be using re much, much of what's in here. I won't be using this board, of course, that circuit board. I'm sure it's, it's some proprietary communicative stuff on there. Uh, that I'm not sure. I'll be using that. It looks like it might be something that reads amperage right there. But uh, yeah, this is a good reusable component here. Okay, so we've got the uh, battery box removed from the BMW i3 here. And we've got the modules removed from the battery box. We've got them stored, waiting for the battery management system to come so that we can, we can balance the individual batteries within the module before we install it into the Porsche. Uh, next on the agenda is the traction motor. We gotta remove the traction motor from here. And we have to remove the uh, heater so that way we can have cabin heat and also heat for our, our, our batteries to bring them up to operating temperature. So uh, that's our next phase. Uh, for now, don't forget to go to our website, which is uh, futurefuelproject.com so that you can see what we've got going on on the other end. Uh, but for now, uh, let's learn something.